Hi everyone, my name is Liam Miller and welcome to Muscle Cook TV. Now this is episode two of our little series that we're showing you how to take a stereotypical bodybuilding meal, add some flavor to it and not really add much more calories. So if you tuned in to the last episode, I showed you how to spice up some steak and rice. Just a bland meal and we showed you how to really, really spruce it up. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the stereotypical bodybuilding, chicken and broccoli. So today, these are the ingredients we're going to use. Not much calories, there's, not, uh, there's nothing really else here for it. It's just going to really, really enhance the flavour and I'm going to show you how to do it. So first of all, we've got one chicken breast here. I've sliced it in half, just allows it to cook quicker and allows me to cut it a little better. So, what we're going to do with the chicken is we're just going to cut it into even chunks and it's just going to allow even cooking. You want everything, if you're cooking protein sources, just try and keep them all around the same size because they're all going to be cooking at the same time. Okay, chicken prepared, that's good, and we'll just set that to the side. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take one whole onion and we're going to dice it. So, to dice it, again, showed you in the last one, make a few slits here, just before it hits the root, just so it all stays together. Little incision in the middle. Oops. And then we're just going to slice down. Next up, again, same as the last one, garlic. Push it down. And again, just nice and rough. Just want to cut into that garlic. Okay, so garlic done. Now, you can use any tomatoes. I've just, um, I got a packet from the supermarket. It's got a few different, we've got some cherry tomatoes, nice little yellow tomatoes. So we want to cut those in half and then cut those pieces in half as well. Okay, same with these ones, the longer ones. And again with the chili guys, so this one, again, we want some heat. Now these are just like, your stereotypical green chilies. You can use any chilies you like. Um, I like a bit of heat, especially this more kind of Italian feel. I want a little bit of heat in it. So you're just gonna cut off the top. You're gonna cut through the middle. Now if you wanted to get rid of the heat of these chilies, all you do is just scrape out the seeds, you just scrape them out and you've got them there. But what I like to do is just cut them into equal parts. Now, what we've got here is we've got some beautiful basil, really fragrant Italian herb. Not so much Italian, but it goes well with the sauce that we want to do. So what we're gonna do again is just roll that basil up and the minute you cut into this, you're really just gonna start just getting that fragrance coming out from the basil. Now it's one of my favorite herbs, tomato and basil. If you had a pestle and mortar, the best way to do this we put your chili, garlic, basil, and just bash it, and it really enhances all the flavor. So, basil done. Perfect. Now here, what we've got is just a traditional Italian passata. It's just a tomato-based sauce with a few herbs thrown in. You can make your own. This one is just store-bought. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the pan. Right guys, so the broccoli we're gonna to use today is just a tender stem broccoli. Now you can really use any one you like. You can use just your traditional florets. All we're gonna do with that is place it in a steamer here a little bit of sea salt, under a pan of boiling water, and pop the lid on it. Now it just depends how you like it. I like my broccoli quite crunchy. I don't like to cook it right through till it's soft. I still like a bit of crunch, so five, six, seven minutes, have a look at it, and you really want that vibrant green color still to be there. So, now, pan on, I'm gonna pop some olive oil in, and we're gonna go in with our chicken. So we just want to brown the meat first, and then we're going to add our onions in, turn the heat down and just let the onions and the juices and the sweetness infuse into the chicken and I'll show you what we're going to do. So that's the noise you want guys, okay? So chicken in. And we're just wanting to brown it. So again, season. Some sea salt. With a little black pepper. Right guys, so chicken's starting to brown off now. All I'm going to do is turn down the heat slightly and then we're going to throw in our onions. Now you want to cook the onions off with the chicken for about five minutes, about four to five minutes. So that's going to bring the onions down, soften them up, and there's a really, really subtle sweetness that comes from red onions. So you're just going to allow that to reduce down with the chicken. And again, be patient. You know guys, I'm not a patient guy, but be patient. Let the flavors infuse, let it all come together. And just let that sit there for about five minutes. 
Right guys, so that's been about five minutes now. What we're going to do is we're going to add in the garlic. And we're going to add in the chilli. So again, you can see the onions. That aroma of the onions starting to kind of sweat into the chicken now. So we're just going to do the same. Allow the chilli and the garlic to just merge in with the onions and in with the chicken. Really basic stuff folks. It's not, it's not crazy. It's not really difficult. It's not a lot of effort. It's just thinking about a few different little tweaks you can do to make you stick to your diet. I mean, me sitting having chicken and broccoli three times a day or once a day or twice a day or however long you're having it, it becomes monotonous. Now you get some people who can, who can do it no problem, but I'm all about flavor. I'm a real foodie, I love food. And if there's any way that I can inject some flavor into healthy, wholesome meals, then I'm gonna do it. So this meal here, just literally no carbs, and you'll understand when you try it and you make it, the flavor combinations just work. They just work. So again, the garlic and the onions, you can really start to smell it now. Give that another two minutes, then we'll add the tomatoes in. Okay guys, so it's been about another two minutes. We're just gonna add in our tomatoes. Let them cook down just for a minute. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna gradually add in our passata. It's around about three tablespoons. Now you don't want to make this a sauce, like a base for a sauce, like a, like a pasta sauce. All it's doing is just taking on the chicken and it's just gonna moisten everything up. Still got about a tablespoon left in there, so all I want to do is just fold that gently into all the flavours as it's cooking. And allow all those flavours to come together. Once that's there, we'll add in the rest of the sauce. Again, season. And again, just be patient, allow it to cook down for Another two to three minutes, medium heat. And when it starts bubbling, just turn it down slightly, keep an eye on it. And I guarantee you're gonna love this one. I can't wait to eat this. Right guys, so that's the cooking part finished. Turn the oven off. I'm gonna add in the fresh basil, just sprinkle it in. I'm gonna chop up a few sun-dried sun -dried tomatoes. Now these are just to your taste, you don't actually have to put these in. Love sun dried tomatoes and it adds to the extra marriage between the tomato and basil. So, in, I'm going to cut a lime in half, squeeze the lime juice in there, and then we're just going to mix again, just fold these ingredients in. Okay, then we'll plate up. So, here we have the beautiful broccoli. Look at that vibrant green colour, perfect. Spoon in, we'll try and get the chicken out first. Okay, so we'll check it out and then we'll just gently fold the sauce over the top with the garlic, the peppers, the chilies. And there we have it guys. Chicken and broccoli. Pretty damn tasty. Not your stereotypical bland chicken broccoli. Again, there's no sugar, there's no extra just nonsense in there it's all fresh ingredients now the passata if you don't want to use that you can use fresh tomatoes you don't actually have to use the tomatoes at all um, the the passata sauce at all you can just use it and use the garlic and the chilies and the tomatoes and that alone throw some basil in at the end it's just going to give that flavor combination a big zing so now i'm going to go and tuck into this low carb high protein meal and if you want to bump up the fats you can serve it with some avocado avocado goes great with this sauce as well so guys hope you've enjoyed that give it a try comment below and if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and let me know how you got on remember also check out our blog www.themusclecook.com speak to you next time click the link below and i'll send you a free meal plan along with five other examples of how to spice up your boring bland traditional bodybuilding recipes